everybody welcome back to another video and we reached 800 subscribers on youtube on monday which was my birthday so thank you all very much for that now we're at like 850 something subscribers at least the last time i checked so that's incredible we have my millennium falcon mock and now i did have the 2015 millennium falcon from the force awakens wave however that was um i completely rebuilt it from the ground up the only thing i kept was the technic structure and the plates other than that, I pretty much redid the entire thing. Of course, you know, I also replaced the dish. However, there's Force Awakened minifigures inside. So I completely made this as detailed as possible with, and I obviously based this off of the UCS Millennium Falcon as much as possible. So I basically have this huge long thing here and it's connected very weirdly. And then I have these tiles wedged under here. And yes, it is a legal, it is a legal connection and because it's perfectly smooth with this. It's a pain in the ass to with these plates though. They're hardly put on here. Like they are hardly connected. You know, we have the same kind of holes here, but of course I don't have the spring loaded shooters. And also I cannot slide these out because these are connected into the back of this and of course around. So uh, yeah, it's pretty much um, goes all the way around this greebling here. Um, really like the way this looks. This These here, um, what I did, I was like, oh, I wanted to extend this out somehow. This was one of the first modifications I actually did when I got the 2015 Falcon um, were by adding like these pieces and I think it looks really nice. Um, wish it was a bit more circular than it is, but it's the best I could do with what I had. Um, yes, I could still pick it up as well. So very heavy. This thing is at least seven and a half pounds, uh, a lot more than it is than the other Falcons are very, very heavy. And yet again, I was picking that up with only one hand here. Uh, so it would feel a lot heavier than it really is. And plus, this is my non-dominant, non-dominant hand. Um, you could see all this greebling. I tried to incorporate a, as much greebling as possible without it looking super overcrowded. Obviously, I, I did more greebling in the back area because I felt like it fits more in more that way. Wow, this thing's huge. I'm going to have to zoom this out a little bit here. Um, I'm going to have to hold this. But uh, yeah, this is what the back looks like. Instead of having the big tube, I and I opted to use white plates and then have trans blue over it. that. I thought it looked a lot more professional and just a lot more vibrant because the and the plus the blue tube wasn't as long as I would want it to be. Um, and then once again we have greebling here and it just looks it just looks really nice. So uh, yeah, that's what it looks like. I love this connection. You could see this is basically the kind of design I came up with with this. These surprisingly these one by twos here. There we go. So you see that's basically a one, a one, a one by two, and you could just put those in there. Very, very sturdy. I, j I wanted three connection points because I thought these were enough, but then these the bottom side of these panels would flap open and stuff. Once again, interior, I focus more on exterior than interior. So there's only a couple of little things here and there, but we have the hyperdrive, just stuff like that. I'll go into the interior when we're done with the exterior. This is what the other, other panel looks like not too complicated really it's really not i i the greebling here isn't that as great as it was on this side um but you know you see the sides here uh and now this part was probably the most complicated obviously this panel here you lift up and it's pretty simple honestly i, I really like the greebling on here though and what i was gonna do is i was gonna attach it i was gonna somehow attach it to here and then it would go here, but it, every time I it, it was like that, and then it overlap. It was just a pain in the ass. So I decided to just let gravity do it, what its thing, and it works. Like I could push down on it, like not too too hard, but I could push down on it. It's not gonna fall over. And actually, I'm gonna pop this out again. And with the cockpit here, I decided to make it so that you could make fin mini figures come from like over here, and then they could still manage. To sneak their way in so we're just going to demonstrate with this han solo here you could see him i could put him all the way through it i have to like detach this to put minifigure on there but it still looks really cool and you just slide this in and out it's kind of it's very tight but it works and i think it looks very good this is connected from here all the way over there don't ask how i got this connection like it's this was probably the hardest thing to do but i did this with my old falcon kind of i believe i don't know i don't remember and then the fork, the fork here is like this side looks, you know, it's generally the same. I wish I could cover this yellow up a little bit more, but there's nothing I could really do about that. So, um, yeah, I guess we're going to open up all these panels. Now, this panel, I cannot, I do not want to touch. This one's very fragile, as I said. This is what it looks like. 
nothing it's not too special or anything there's not really much special about it i just think it looks it's like a nice setup i have my sharpied up uh c-3po over here i think i'm gonna try buying the official figure at some point with the like the leg printing and the arm printing it's only like seven dollars on bricklink so it's really not that bad um for a figure with all that printing yeah that's pretty much it for my 800 subscriber special this was very like fast because i reached 700 subscribers like two weeks ago uh so that was absolutely crazy thank you if you came from republic studs which most of you probably have thank you very much i really appreciate it and we're very close to a uh, thousand subscribers i have planned for my 900 subscriber special i have it's actually two builds and four customs and I have two of the customs done. I have both of the builds done. So I just need to do two more customs um, before that time. And I think, you know, 40 subscribers give me like two, three weeks. And it depends. It depends really. <laughs> but, um, and I'll have that done. It's going to be absolutely amazing showcase. I've, I'm super excited to show you guys everything I've made. My Discord server pretty much knows about it at this point. My Instagram, uh, profile like it's my profile picture on there so it's not very it's not very f difficult to figure it out but um we're also doing mandalorian movie night on the 30th uh so if you want to join that we will be doing it at some point i'm still trying to figure it out a lot of people want to do it but they don't know when they're able to do it i don't have a definite time so we're going to figure that out as we go also going to do a live stream where i build the razor crest yes I, I'm fighting the temptation to open it and I'm not, I haven't opened it yet. So that's absolutely amazing. So once again, thank you all for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. Look at my social media platforms, things. I also got a business email. Please only email me for business reasons. Uh, I don't want to get like spam or pictures I never want to see in my entire life. So yes, thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.